Hi, Logan from Reef Breeders here, and today we're going to go over how to hook up and install your Photon Apex Control Interface. The Photon Apex Control Interface replaces the default controller in your Photon V2 or V2 Plus. It includes three Ethernet jacks, which are designed to work with the Apex's VDM. On most newer Apexes, the VDM slots are located here. They will have four green indicator LEDs and two RJ45 Cat6 Ethernet jacks. Each kit includes three Ethernet cords, though only two are required if you want to control your lights. It also includes an updated phase plate, which replaces the original one and allows the Ethernet jacks to go through seamlessly. Once your Apex VDM ports have been plugged in and set to the off state, it's time to start zeroing out your light. This sets the zero point when your light is supposed to turn off. The Apex unit continually puts out very low voltage signals, even when the VDM is in the off stage. Due to this, we have an intelligent zeroing function, which takes an average voltage over a period of about 20 seconds and then cancels that signal out for future use. Now that all the VDM signals have been set to off, we're going to go ahead and plug in the light. Remember to first plug in the DC power supply to the light, then plug in the DC power supply to the wall. When first plugged in, your light will go through an initialization phase, where it goes through each channel. The fans will be on, and then all channels will power up to full power, then slowly ramp down. Once that is complete, with a small tool, we're going to go ahead and give the button one single push. This will initialize the zero function and set the zero point so the light knows when it should be off. Next, we're going to go over linking channels 1, or reds, and channels 2, greens, with either channels 3, 4, 5, or 6. This is especially useful if you only have two VDM outlets available on your Apex. First, we're going to press and hold that same button instead of just pressing it once. And you'll notice that you'll get three flashes. Then with one press, you'll see channel one is flashing. Then quickly press it again. Each button press will link it to a different channel, as confirmed by the indicator LED. After channel 1 is all linked up, the indicator's flasher for channel 2 will start blinking. Repeat the same process, pressing the button one time for each channel. When you've selected the channel you'd like to link channel 2, stop pressing the button and it'll save to confirm your choice in about 5 to 10 seconds. Once all the LEDs flash, that confirms that the channels are linked. To unlink the channels, simply repeat the process by pressing and holding the button. If you take no action, the channels will become unlinked and will be off with no VDM input, or it can be run independently if you have a third VDM channel that you could use. Now that the setup process is complete, you can control your light entirely through the Apex unit. This relies on the VDM ports, so before purchasing, make sure that your model includes the VDM ports, or if not, you could alternatively buy the Apex VDM module. Now the Ethernet cords are included, and you only need two to run the full light. You could actually link the greens and the reds to any channel of your choice. So for example, you could run the greens and reds along with the white LEDs or you can run the greens along with the violets and the reds along with the cool blues. You could even just leave them off. It's all up to you. Now if you have a third ethernet hookup, 
meaning an additional VDM slot, you can control the greens and reds independently. They only make up about 5% of the light's overall power though, so in my personal opinion, I just leave them off and let the Apex handle the other four channels. Thank you for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing Reef Breeders to power your tank.